You want to know how to do this? Or that? Or this? Well, maybe not that. It's coming up right after this. Media. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. Now, some of you may be eagle-eyed enough to notice that the last episode, that is the 15th of the month, failed to surface this month. Unfortunately, I had some issues with my computer that meant I couldn't edit or render, so I had to drop the episode. The good news is, that's all better now, and so we are hopefully back to normal. But you're not here to listen to this. You want to know how to do the overlays. So, let's do that right now. First, take some unlined white paper and a preferably nice thick black felt tip pen like this. Next, draw your overlay. Now this could be a simple channel ident, a decorative doodle, or a message to your viewers. No great artistic skill is needed, as you can see. Now using a digital camera, and the one on your phone is fine, take a picture of your overlay. Make sure that it is well lit and that the edges of the paper are not showing on the photograph. They should look something like these. Once done, import them into your computer and place them on your desktop. Now you need to open up Sony Vegas Pro. As you can see, I've already got a nice background onto which I'm going to overlay my doodle, but you can use anything you like. Image, video, or even no background at all. If you are using a background image or video, you will need a video track above it on which to place the overlay. If there isn't one, you can create a new one by clicking Insert and then Video Track. And there we go. Now drag in the image you wish to use. I think I'll go with the flower. And I'll just stretch the image along my background like this. Now the first thing I notice is that the picture is a slightly different aspect ratio to my screen which means I can see bits of the background on either side. To fix this, I'm going to go to the Event Pan Crop tool on the clip here, and making sure that the very first keyframe is selected by clicking on it, I'm going to come up here and change the aspect ratio to the same size as my screen, which is 169 widescreen TV. And there you go, as you can see, that is sorted. So now let's turn the image into an overlay. Looking at the images, you will often see that they are not perfectly black and white. The white bits will often be tinged with blue or orange, depending on the light source that lit it. So to remove these colors, we're going to open the clip's Event FX and double click on the Sony black and white effect. And then OK. Make sure that the blend slider is on max and this will change the image to a true black and white picture. Looking again at the image, we can see that there are variations in the whiteness of the whites and the blackness of the blacks. And so to fix this, we'll open up the Event FX again, and this time choose Brightness and Contrast. And we'll increase the contrast just enough to make the blacks and whites distinct and even. And now for the final adjustment. Just click on the Event FX once more and choose Sony Invert, which, as the name suggests, We'll change the blacks to white and the whites to black. And again, make sure the slider is on max. And that's it. To add this image as an overlay, simply click on the track compositing mode button here and change it to add. And voila, the black disappears, leaving your overlay on the screen. You can, of course, now alter the size and position of your overlay by using the event pan crop tool here. And if you're not sure how to do this, then check out this episode here. And the link will also be in the description. When using this tool, you may notice that the edges of the image become visible, like this. But this can be easily fixed in the following manner. Click on the clip's Event FX button, and you will see all the effects you've used on this clip arranged at the top. All you need to do is change the order of the effects that were applied by shuffling them about until the unwanted edge disappears. And there it is, fixed. Like any other clip, it can be animated by transitions. And if you don't know how to do that, then check out this episode here. And the link is also in the description. As these are transparent overlays, you can stack up as many on the timeline as you want. Just add a new video track, choose your image, rinse and repeat. 
So there you go, easy overlays. Hope it was useful to you. If you've enjoyed it, then don't forget to comment, like and share. And if you haven't already done so, then hit the subscriber thingy, because that way I'll see you here next time and every time on, on the, the Media, Media Channel. Channel.